up, what up, y'all? So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this grill put together. Uh, this is the old one, which you can see it's still got the factory road behind it. But, uh, yeah, all this stuff is about to come off. Uh, it is still cold out here, but whatever. I do better. But yeah. Let's get this stuff off. Okay. And if you watched the old video, this is the LED bow tie. So I had to chrome myself. So. What I did was I put these little, basically quick release connectors on here so I can take this off without having to unhook everything because this is powered by the park lights and the headlights. So I can just unhook this. Now this is completely disconnected so I can just pull the grill off. So it took some time, kind of uh, I think the problem was this kind of overlapped a little bit. So the bottom chrome trim was kind of being held back by this overlay. But this is loose. Uh, plastic tabs like that into the bumper so yeah Guess, uh, might have to use two hands again maybe maybe not so after some uh, persuasion the grill is off these metal tabs and it's just threaded bolt on her then you put the nut on the back side so that's what holds it in place and for whatever reason some of these I don't know I guess that one came loose over time or something and this one over here didn't line up so it was just kind of glued in but we'll go ahead and uh, unbolt these get that old grill off and then we're gonna test fit this new one which should be a lot cleaner and I think this time around I might cut out the rest of that factory grill behind it that way this is wide open so just test fit this on top of the factory grill and got some new 3M on the back of this so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in place stick that on and uh, then I start trimming out this grill I think I'm gonna cut out some of these spots just because uh, yeah this little part right here Yeah. 
like I did the first time, I just said, forget it. Took the whole boat uh, I was struggling too bad to get this thing off. I ain't feel like breaking it. It didn't need to be broken. That's all I did. I just took the whole boat off. Uh, it's just a 10 millimeter bolt. Yeah. This is a 10 millimeter bolt. You just loosen it up because it goes into this hole and just slides back. So that was like two 7 millimeter bolts there. Out this stuff is real easy to bend, so I just press down on it to kind of flatten it out. But there's three mountains or five mountain spots. There's three at the top, so it's one, two, three, and then it's two at the bottom, so one, and where to go? Two. So, what I'm gonna do, I could keep this like this, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything out. So, all I gotta do is leave a border, not even the whole border, I really can just leave like two, three spots up here, so like one there, one in the middle, one there, two down here, and then the rest of this factory mesh behind here, I can just gut all of that out. So, alright, so, the hole is cut. Turn off some of the edges real quick, and uh... Did it? Still got to tighten it down, but you get these little metal bracket things. So put that on. Comes with a washer and a nut. So 
get all of those. And then this little bolt thing, you gotta thread on first. So thread that on, get your bracket on the your washer, then the nut on the end. And then you can tighten everything up. So it's the next day. You can finally see what this thing looked like in the daytime. And there we go. I like this one. So uh, you can't really tell. But you can't tell. At night you can tell a little bit more, I think. But the inside of the grill of the factory is cut out. Same with up here. And I already got some nicks in it and some blood from this jump. But gotta clean it off, wash the car, and uh, yeah, not bad. I like it.